Hello, 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 my friends. How are you? It's Katie Rubin, your friendly neighborhood modern mystic energy healer, divine light channel, and writing coach. I forget to say that all the time. I've been teaching a writing class online that meets, there's two classes, we have a Wednesday class and a Thursday class for like seven years, and I never talk about it, and it's weird. Because it's a game-changing writing class and you should come to it. Also, All the Answers podcast. You guys, it's so good and it's free. And look at my new earrings. All the Answers podcast. Okay, check us out. We're very funny. We're very spiritual. We'll change your life. No big deal. Listen, I've pulled your three-card spread for this week. Ugh, it's a fun and sweet one. Today, the guidance was to start with this deck. That's too bright. This, this deck. Can you see it? There we go. This deck. The uh, Work Your Light Oracle Cards Guidebook, Rebecca Campbell. So stunning and beautiful, this deck. I just love it. It's very light workery. It's very feminine, light worker, light vibes. I love it. In the recent past, my friends, we have the Pleiadians visiting us. It says, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. Let's read into what that is. That's the recent past. You've been connecting with some Pleiadian energy or perhaps you're... I have to, I have to point these at you because look, Maggie Emerson made these with her hands. Maggie Emerson on Facebook. Buy your damn earrings. She's so good. Okay, present moment. I fucking love this card. For anybody who overthinks, this is the best card you can receive. Present moment. You're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your ow. True north. What a relief. Is that not a relief to your nervous system like it is to mine? It sure freaking is over here. And the outcome card, holy shit, even better, play. Have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious, Katie. This is like for me, but it's for you too, because I asked and I'm very clear. Um, okay, let's see what she has to say. So the recent past, the Pleiades, this deck, my only complaint about this deck <laughs> is the way that it's laid out, you have to like search really hard to find, like they're not like numbered and in order in a simple way to find. I have to like read through all of the things in the freaking front of the, what is this called? This is called a table of contents. I have to look at every single one to try to find the Pleiades one. What? And I can't find it. It really shouldn't be this hard, you guys. There it is! I found it! 118. It's like I want them each to have a number, so I just flip to that number. You know what I mean? Are you looking at my boobs? Because if you're not, you really should be. They look amazing in this shirt. Let's be real. <laughs> I. This is a lie. Like, this is all a bra doing its job. Like, cleavage with me, it's a lie. But I love it. Okay, the Pleiades, recent past. The Pleiadians are a group of star beings dedicated to raising the vibration of the planet and sharing new consciousness through creations and technology. They've been incarnating on Earth ever sen since near the beginning of humanity. You are a soul who has a double mission, to grow at the soul level and to raise the vibration of the planet. If you've been called to write, speak, or channel, this is your sign to keep doing it. Your work is divinely guided of all of the souls pleiadians are the chattiest chit chat and so perhaps you have already started channeling some of this work into the third dimension thank you for doing your part in the great plan your presence is unique your presence and unique light is needed mm. okay so the pleiadians have a, a pleiadian soul like you has a double mission to grow at a soul level and to raise the vibration of the planet and if you've been called to write speak or channel this is your sign to keep doing it. And that is in our recent past position, interestingly enough. Now, in the recent past, what that sort of says to me is like, you've been getting information from the universe in some form or another that you're, that you are of that. That's your nature, that you have a Pleiadian double purpose nature. Okay, so in the present moment, we're sitting with the energy of, you're already doing it. Oh, one of my favorite cards. It's like, you can relax, Katie. You've got it covered. You're doing enough things. I just love this card. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. Don't question things so much. <laughs> You're on the right track. You're facing the right way. Stop overthinking it. It's happening. And you're closer than you think. I love it. 
You are exactly where you need to be, and things are moving at the perfect speed, Katie Rubin. Do not rush it. Now is not the time to be impatient. Now is the time to walk steady. There is no rush. What you are building is being built. What you have planted soon will blossom. With every new day, a new brick is being laid. You have come a long way. The foundations are steady. Now all that is needed is for you to trust and keep walking forward. If a thought that things should be moving faster enters your head, ever heard that thought before? That is just your ego comparing your rising to someone else. Comparison is not your friend. Stay in your lane, water your own garden, knowing that your time to bloom will come soon. Your time to bloom will come soon. I want to say soon. I love it so much. Such encouragement. And then lastly, we wind up the outcome card here is the play card. And we're going to see what it says. Whenever I make these videos, I, I always have, I don't know what it is about making a video. I always feel so much permission to play. I'm like, I'm always playing in a video. I'm like, how about we do that in life every minute? How about that? Self. Stop taking life so seriously. Your spirit needs to have some fun. The more you play, the more inspiration will follow. Boy, is that true for me. I had a spiritual teacher once say to me, when you want to make money as a self-employed person, you guys have probably heard me say this, go out and have some fun. And I was like, what? And then for some reason, I just, it so resonated with me at the time that I really took that to heart. And anytime I'm feeling stuck around money, I go, cool, we're getting out of the house. We're going to go out to a park. We're going to zip around. We're going to see a friend. We're going to do something fun. The more you play, the more inspiration will follow. Take some time out to do something without being attached to the outcome. Such an important energy to bring into our lives. When we're so attached to outcomes, they often become elusive. Have you noticed? You are being called to rest and play and learn to have more fun. Do something that makes you laugh. The best medicine around. Call up a friend that you can be silly with. Take your inner child on a date. The more you switch off your mind, the more room your spirit has to whisper and guide. Ugh. When we do things without being attached to the outcome, ideas, clarity, guidance, and solutions have the space to drop in. The left and right hemispheres of the brain can begin talking to each other. Make play a compulsory part of your day. Schedule it. Spend more time doing things just because you love to do them, just because they bring you joy and light you up. If you follow what lights you up, you will light up the world without even trying. For when you are lit up, you are in your spirit. And when you are in your spirit, you fall into flow with life. Isn't that nice? How do you play? What do you love to do to have fun? What lights you up? If you've been working hard lately, it's time to celebrate how far you have come. All that you've achieved. Don't rush on to the next thing. Take a moment to throw a party, go on a vacation, or have some fun. <laughs> I love it. You know what's really fun? My podcast all the answers. We do a lot of fun shit and it's free. You could be in your car later today being entertained and spiritually taught wisdom all at the same time. Why would you not want to do that? I don't know. Maybe you're crazy. Also, two offerings for you guys. My star beings class starts next Monday. We changed the start date. We were going to start today, but I kept getting psychically like push it off a week. We've got five people committed and so I've got room for two or three more. Starbings is a class on Mondays. It's really pretty profound and deep. Speaking of taking yourself really seriously, <laughs> I transmit the light of the Pleiadians, the Syrians, the Arcturians, those from Orion, the Mintakans, the Lyrans, the Lemurians, the uh, every fucking buddy ins. Okay. And to give you an example, this week in class or last week when we finished class, we each got delivered a crystalline light grid from the star beings that descended through the crown down into the root of each person in class and um my god it blew me open it blew everybody open and they gave this message verbally that i was able to channel that said um you know you're you're now with this crystalline grid you're literally always transmitting divine light wherever you go and so when you interact with people this was for the people in my class you're gonna activate in them some crying some laughing they're not going to understand why they're just telling you their whole life story that's what the divine light can do and that's what the star being light can do so anyway it's a profound class it's seven weeks long join us there's details below this video about it whether you're receiving this in an email or on youtube or on facebook or on instagram also my writing class writing in alignment 
which is where we channel our writing, which is so freaking cool because we get out of our own way and the writing just flows. We begin that this week as well, Wednesdays and Thursdays. You can choose either the Wednesday night class or the Thursday day class, and we all channel write together on Saturdays. There's information below this video about that class as well. Message me if you have any questions. Please have some fun, friends. You're already doing it, whatever it is, because recently you re-remembered who you really are, and the outcome of already doing it is you get to go fucking play. So because you're already doing it, could you please go have some goddamn fun already? All the Answers Podcast. I love you! <laughs>